Sexyvel. Hi there. I've made it. <laughs> no chaos till now. <laughs> Hi guys. I'm happy you're there. Just hang on for a second. I've got to get myself organized. But at least the video is running. And I guess I'm on the right page. So when you're popping on, just let me know where you are watching from. And okay, here we are. Because I've got to see your comments. I'm still pretty new to all this live thing, so be be a little patient with me. All right. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, my name is Angela Bailey and I am with Elfen and Helden over here in uh, Germany, in Frankfurt, Germany. And I'm very happy to be on the Dixie Bell page and uh, I'm very grateful that you're popping in to join me. And when you um, jump on, just let me know where you're watching from and um, yeah, if you maybe use Dixie Bell paints yourself. I'd like to see that um, yeah and um, we are working uh, we started last week this um, yeah this uh, sideboard in beautiful blues and I'm just gonna run you through quickly through the the colors we use till now uh, we started on the sides here with can you see that yes you can there's like, um, the main colors are the blues, which is the um, Bunker Hill blue, which is the darker blue. And it is the, um, in the uh, Pure Ocean, both from Dixie Bell, the chalk mineral paints. And the accentures in here, uh, I've done in Barn Red and in Colonel Mustard underneath. While I've decided now, I haven't done the second coat on the on this side here. While I decided now, I'm going to um, go over to the honky tonk red because that's a brighter red than the the barn red. So this is going to be changed later on. But today I want to work with you on the sides. Basically, you can see I've already um, done two coats and blended the uh, the colors together. And uh, I've planned on doing like a, yeah like a sun ray um, pattern on there, and uh, um, I'm going to do some ray stenciling later on. And well, I'm going to run you through that. Uh, there's um, obviously different ways to do like a sun ray pattern stuff like this. You can use stencils and things like that. I like to um, do it with um, tape. I'm just going to tape it off and the tape I'm using, I don't know if you can actually get it in, in the US, I'm not quite sure, it's the frock tape and um, the pretty thin one and um, yeah, it, um, you can, you get very crisp lines with it and that's what I want, what, what I want to achieve, rewind. So I'm first going to tape it off, just uh, stay with me and can you see? Yeah, you can see. What I do, I'm first going to go across. I, it's not uh, about being like uh, completely symmetrical. That's not the look I want to achieve. If I wanted to have that, I have to measure and stuff like that. I'm just going to go just like roughly where I want to have the stripes or the, the, the rays later. And the rays are gonna go down in the in the darker blue. I'm first gonna go across like this and then across like that. Press it nicely down. And this tape is very nice because um, it doesn't adhere to the paint but uh, you're getting nice and crisp lines with it. Then I'm going to go up and down like this. And 
then I'm gonna go across. That's a crease there, which I don't wanna have. If you have a crease like that I just had, you just pull it back off and then you, you um, put it back on. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll come to you, back to you uh, later. And Dixie Bell is helping me out there. Thank you very much, Dixie Bell. I'm still pretty nervous doing this. Um, but uh, the Dixie Bell family is very friendly and very understanding, so I'm very happy about that. So now I'm going to go even more across the lines this go over the middle and press it nicely down um, let's see which way I haven't done go across like this and across from the top here can you already see where this is going And the last one is going to come from up here Oops. to cross the middle to down here. So that's the, basically the pattern I'm going to go for. What do you think? <laughs> Looks funny, doesn't it? <laughs> Oops. So, tape by the side. And uh, I'm going to use the bunker, um, yeah, the bunker hill blue, the darker blue. I want to keep it um, more on the, the dark blue side. So, this is how I keep my brushes when, uh, when I've already used them with, a, with the color, because when I going to paint later on with the same color. Uh, I don't wash it out because uh, those uh, brushes they hold the paint pretty well and uh, you don't need to waste it. So what I do, I um, spray some water on it and uh, put it in a baby wipe and put it in a plastic bag and uh, that keeps uh, the brush nice and moist so that's, that the paint doesn't dry on the brush. But same water. I'm going to need my Mr. Bottle. Mr. Bottle is um, well, it's the main thing when you keep your paint moist. You can also get that on the Dixie Bell page. And uh, if you want to shop the paint, you can go to the Dixie Bell page and look for your local retailer. And if you are in Europe and you haven't got a local retailer, I'll be happy to help you out, guys. You can get all the Dixie Bell products from me. I'm a premier retailer for Dixie Bell. And as I said, I am in Frankfurt, Germany. And I'll be very happy to meet you there. So whenever you, you are around, just pop by and say hello. So that's it. And now I'm going to open. And as per usual, I'm first going to use the, I think I'm going to turn that a little bit. Yeah, that's better. So. Dampen the brush a little bit. And go into the, the lid. That's a bit much paint. So, and then I'm gonna go because I want to have those rays in the dark blue. I'm just going to go over it. I'm probably going to need um, two coats. Do you see? We will see. to give a shout out uh, to my sweetheart um, 
Manfred, kannst du bitte gerade mal runterkommen und ähm, den Autoschlüssel holen und mir aus dem Rolli, den ich gerade ins Auto gefahren habe, die Heißluftpistole noch mal rausholen. Ganz lieben Dank. Sorry guys, um, I just had to, because I just, um, the moment I'm moving between my two studios around and I already put the heat gun into my car which I probably going to need in a second. So, the car key there. I hope you heard that. And he's gonna come down and help me out. So. And uh, what I like about this tape, what I'm using, because that really keeps the paint out and you can really get uh, nice crisp lines, which is very good. So, as I said, when you're popping on, just let me know where you're from, where you're watching from. And um, to the paints I'm using today, is uh, the Dixie Belt Chalk Mineral Paints. The great thing about them, if you don't know them already, I don't know if some of the European friends who don't, don't know Dixie Belt that well are on, they are very environmental friendly. And got hardly no smell to them. You can use them indoors, which is very, very nice. Do you like the blues? Or which colors are your favorite colors from Dixie Bell? Hi Angie. Thanks for popping on. How's the weather in England? It's probably, probably pretty much the same like over here. My sweetheart hasn't heard it. So. Manfred, kannst du bitte mal runterkommen, wenn du das hörst? Guys, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can also leave them in German if you want to. I will come back to you later. And uh, answer them for you later. out of the lid which was in the lid and now I'm gonna go to the um, to the jar to it all the way. 
and we're going to do a raised stencil on the side uh, after the stripes also. Watch the replay just let me know where you're watching from so that we like me and Dixie Bell know where you're all from and um, if you have any questions just leave it in the comments for me I'll answer those later I'm not very good uh, painting and answering questions at the same time as I said this um, whole life thing is still pretty pretty new to me and uh, I'm still a little bit nervous, guys. So, I'm missing the cameras down there. I don't know why. So, any spots I missed? I think that's it. Then I can pull back the stripes. I just put that um, to the side for now. It's going to be a little messy now. Gotta get up to that. Let's see where we start. So there we go. Crisp lines with those pieces of tape. That's very good. Quite like. So it's here. Can you see that? Yeah. There's all 
different ways to, to do stripes and braids and stuff like that. This is a pretty simple way of doing it. think if you like it can I see some hearts please if you like it please please <laughs> so that's the first step and now I'm going to prepare the raised stenciling for the raised stenciling let that dry for a moment I'm gonna come in with the heat gun also but I'm going to prepare my stenciling stuff now and therefore, I am going to use, you see, oh, thank you for the hearts. <laughs> so, um, I've just got like one of those plastic, uh, um, what do you call that, cups type of things. Guys, after all, I'm German. I'm sometimes lost for words. I'm, I'm sorry. Be patient with me. <laughs> so. Um, and what I do when I use the, um, the sea spray, the sea spray is like a powder mixture. I'll first put uh, some paint in and then so that I know roughly uh, the amount of paint I'm going to use. And then I put um, the powder on top. Uh, I don't do it the other way around because uh, I mostly end up uh, having too much powder in there and then having to put like too much paint into it. So, shake up the paint first, as per usual, and then we are gonna go, just going to pour a little in there, see if I can make a mess, I'm very good at making mess, so that looks good, I can always make some more if I need some more. And with the sea spray, it comes with uh, one of those measuring cups. I'll show you. i show you. This is uh, the bucket and uh, the bag. And it comes with one of those measuring cups. And it is said that for eight hours of paint, you use two of those cups. I always do it like um, that I get a consistency I prefer to have. So. I start just with a, with a little bit, just like this. I want to have it uh, for the ray stenciling a bit thicker. And then I'm just going to put it into the paint. And I'll get up and show you so you can see. And then I'll mix it up. You can see it's like a nice powder. And the nice thing is, as I said, you can use for ray stenciling also the, um, the Dixie Mud, which comes in white and black and in brown. But as I want to have for the ray stencil on the side, I want to have um, this red color already for it. I'm going to paint over it later anyway, but I want to have as a base um, this red color. So therefore, I'm using, and I think I want to have it a little thicker, so I'm just going to put a little more, just a tiny bit of the, the sea spray in there. And mix it nicely up. And <laughs> has I actually worked with um, sea spray today also, and uh, I think uh, it's mostly said that it's um, supposed to have the consistency of some yeah, brownie butter. <laughs> and she was like, um, that uh, there's obviously people who uh, don't know uh, or never made brownies, uh, which you couldn't understand. Guys, I'm somebody who's never done brownies, <laughs> I, must, I must admit. But it's not uh, that much of a common thing in Germany. So, um, so that's the basically for the for the race stenciling the cons consistency I would like to have. That's it, and uh, yeah, 
go from there. Now I'm first going to dry that paint a little more. I'm going to use my heat gun for it. Well, I put the stencil on there. But at the middle temperature, I don't want to have it too, too hot and you can see that dries really quick. Let's go from there. I'm going to use is one of my own stencils which you can also get in my shop. And I decided to go for a pound. So dry to the touch. You can see the paint dries really, really quick. So. Still, when you touch it, it's still got like the cold feeling, which um, shows that it's not so completely dry. I mean, when you do it uh, for yourself, you obviously going to let it dry a little longer, maybe overnight, which is not the best option. So, there we go. Put that to the side. And now I'm gonna get my stencil. And this is the stencil I'm going to use. That's the one. Oh, hi to Texas. I think that goes perfectly with Texas, doesn't it? <laughs> hi, Veronica. <laughs> um, let's do some measuring. Let's do some eyeballing first, and then going to measure. Some tape. So sorry, I'm in the way for a moment. Because I've just got a roughly what's on there. Get roughly the middle with my glasses. Sorry for turning my back to you, but uh, this I have to do that way, otherwise I'm let's see. It's pretty much Roughly down. Get some. I don't want need it perfect in the middle. It's just um, not supposed to to be whatever like uh, totally out of the range, which is at the moment. It's got to go a little deeper. A little deeper. Let's see, I think that's pretty fine. I think that's what I measured before is about um, 10 centimeters. Um, Muss höher oder ist höher? Rechts ein bisschen höher. Muss höher. always a tricky part to get the, the stencil on there. How oh, decent. This is about 10. Last time measuring. Fine. 
So, put some more tape on there. Get a bit better down. And for the um, for the yes for the ray stenciling, I'm going to use a chip brush. Then I use a C spray, just like a normal chip brush, not nothing very um, expensive, because that's uh, this is like a rough rough material anyway. So. Just spread it on nice and thick and I like to have some texture to it. So this is gonna go on nice and thick like that. Just spread it on. And guys, with that uh, sea spray stuff, and also with the mud, don't um, don't wash it off in the sink. Because when this stuff dries, it dries rock hard. It'll it'll probably block your your drains. So what I do, I always um, take. Uh, the main, the main material of this, um, some baby wipes or uh, a cloth or something like that, and uh, and just like the rest, which is like paint or something like that, I wash off, but not the the main thing. So this can be like a bit of a rough, uh, rough. Uh, First, I'm going to get the rest on there nice and thick. It's going to be about the quiet amount I made, I think. Oops. Let's see on the side there. Spread it nicely on there. smooth it out a little bit you can just put that much on like it's for your preference I'm gonna use all the paint up I've got here so and then comes the big moment when we take the stencil off I hope you could see, <laughs> it looks funny, a <laughs> big red blob, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off, there we are, there we got the ray stencil, so, I've already got like something prepared here to lay down my stencil on. So, I've just uh, put a damp cloth on the floor and uh, so I don't, the stencil is uh, reusable basically. So that is the trick to it. Okay, this got to dry now. Um, we're going to do some, well, a little bit of uh, um, the scaling waxes over it or something like that but that's basically you can see can you see that you can see um, can I take that off or rather don't do it as I said I'll let that dry for now um, what's the time we've got uh, we still we still got a couple of minutes have you still got a couple of minutes with me guys 
because I think um, I want to show you um, on the drawers when you do some blending on some on a little area like a drawer or something like that. Yeah, that looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, especially like with the contrasting colors. I like that too. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. You're sweet. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I'm going to show you what I grab. Because when you have a draw, oh. Having a small area like this is sometimes hard to to blend. You see that? I'm just gonna get you a bit more down. So. Um. Thank you, Marie. you could like um, uh, like blend the colors like nicely into each other and I'm just going to show you the way I do something like that and for this I'm going to have a second brush for the the second uh, color which is the pure ocean and I'm going to have a neutral brush where I like to take the oval medium form so the way I do it, I'm not saying it's the perfect way, this, I'm just showing you the way I do it. Get it damp first a little bit. And I'm gonna go in first with the lighter color. That's what I like to do. Take the paint out of the lid. And also this um, brush I'm using here, it's, um, it's a bit damp because I've uh, used it before and I washed it out with the other colors. So and I'm gonna go in here with the lighter color and then I'm gonna grab my darker color, dampen it up a little bit, grab some paint Outside, put it down on the side. You can see you can cover up the whole draw like completely, and that's what we don't want to do. Um, so, therefore, what I do, I don't blend it perfect uh, straight away, I just have it laid out like where I want to have it. And then I'm gonna come in with my, firstly again with my lighter paint, just to, just a little more. And then I come in with my neutral brush. That's what I do. And the neutral brush, I just do like swirling motions and very lightly. Just need like a, like a cloth or something like that to keep that brush pretty clean. And then you go in like this. The outside. Swirly motions. your brush in between you can go across clean your brush in between to keep it nice and tidy and go across this way and for this type I just want to because I want to keep it pretty dark on the outside I'm not going to put some paint glue on there 
so and you basically this is just with a very light hand you just um, go in in a swirly motion very very light hand and just like blend those colors together and you basically just do that till you've got the stage where you want to have it. If you want to have it a little lighter, you just go back in with some some of your lighter paint and you carry on doing that. But I'm not blending it perfectly with the brush strokes from the normal brushes. I do it basically with my neutral brush on this way. And you can see how those colors like mix into each other. That's the way I like to do it. Because then, you know, otherwise uh, if you um, use your normal brushes with the paint on a small surface like this or a small area like this, it gets um, mostly like really squashed into each other and uh, you really lose um, your original paint. So that's basically the look I'm going for. That's how I want to have it. You can go back and forth. I'm going to keep it up and down also. That's how I like to blend small areas. So what do you think? Draw finished. You like it? <laughs> My sweetheart is sitting here shaking his head. <laughs> We've got a blending queen which is basically um, Brandy from Brush by Brandy so I'm far away from what she does but um, for me I quite like it that way. <laughs> So, guys, I guess that's it for today. Um, it's already quite some time gone. Uh, oops. Move a little closer to you so you can see me. So, guys, thank you very much for um, joining me today. And um, Dixie Bell, thank you very much for having me on your page. I hope uh, this inspired you a little bit. Uh, when you like this, you can also... Um, distribute this post and if you haven't done it yet please pop over to my page and uh, leave me a like and uh, oh from South Africa Johannesburg welcome <laughs> so um, well thank you for watching and I hope I see you next week then uh, if you haven't got uh, or check uh, for your local retailer with Dixie Belt if you haven't got a local retailer over here in Germany or in Europe I'd be very happy to have you so just uh, shoot me a message and uh, I'd be great to to um, yeah to to help you out. And guys, I say well, thank you very much. And uh, it's uh, evening here in Germany. Good evening. You have a nice afternoon or day or from wherever you're watching. And I hope to see you next time. Dixie Bell, thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>